heard the saying, absolute power corrupts absolutely, and we often do see like solid examples of it with people in like the highest forms of power, you know, like monarchs and uh, high governments. Uh, and it's definitely a common trait among, uh, you know, people of a certain country or well, mostly citizens of a country and other countries to look at these uh, different leaders and more people, I would say, probably look at, you know, prime ministers, presidents, kings and queens more so with a dislike and a, like a disrespect than people do look at them, you know, with approval and... Uh, looking towards them, like, gratefully, and I think that does stem from the fact that if people do have shit going wrong, they're just gonna blame, you know, the highest form of authority, because that's kind of the go-to, you know, they, if anything that has gone wrong, because it's under them, and everything is under them, obviously they fall somewhat responsible, even if they aren't, but we do blame them a lot, and... I would say lots of people do, you know, really don't like, you know, leaders of countries, politicians, and royal family. The royal family, especially here in uh, England, are like. I know there are some people that really, really love them and like embrace them, but there are way more people who genuinely hate their fucking guts and like hate people who love them as well. And I can get why, sort of, it doesn't make sense as a system, but I'm not just talking about uh, the royal family, I'm talking about leaders as well, and ex specifically what I want to talk about is, though we do um, tend to dislike these authorities and these people in power, because one, uh, we blame them for what's going wrong, and two, obviously somewhat jealous of their position, I just want to talk about how uh, some people in these same positions manage to be honourable in a dishonourable position. Uh, for example, you know, Princess Diana and uh, Prince Harry, you know, comparatively with all the people around them, they seem like gems and everyone else seems like assholes or um, culturally, uh, you know, Baron Trump, yeah, he's, uh, we like him, we don't like Trump and that one, I can't remember her name, but she's the daughter of a politician, she's about 15, um, and her parents are big Trump supporter, but her daughter, despite having the same authority in society, because she's, you know, a high tier person, you know, um, she had on TikTok, she was really against her own parents' views, and so she was managed to be honourable in the same dishonourable position, and there are plenty of examples and what I think this actually stems from is actually the disconnect between the majority of people that we do dislike and the ones we actually end up liking seem to be you know less of what we look as as at as an authority and more of just a person like you know they say Diana was the people's princess and uh, another person I think fits this criteria is JFK presidents were rarely um, fully respected as much as JFK was and the only people who really disliked JFK were his direct opponents who really just um, disagreed with him because he was opposed to war which I think is a pretty alright thing to oppose and he managed to re remain honourable uh, in that position and then also another I think journalists get a really bad rep especially investigative journalists and mainstream journalists uh, just because of the way they are but like Pope Louis Theroux definitely manages to maintain his um honor in the position so what what i think is that makes these people um more liked when they are in a position where the majority are disliked is that they're actually acting like people and not letting the position they're in or the career they have or whatever it may be create a disconnect between them and the people around them you know they are taking you know their workload as literal and working for the people and they really couldn't give a fuck about um, the privilege it gives them. And of course, some of them definitely do take advantage of the privilege, which, I mean, if you are uh, a person in high position with a lot, a lot of money, and you're using a lot of, lot of money to help out, yeah, treat yourself, you deserve it, because it, it is so hard, it seems, to be such a person and to not be a total dickhead, because it seems every person, it's not even, I always use a 1 in 10 example, but here it's not even a 1 in 10, it's like a 1 in 100. It's crazy how 
easy it is for someone who in any other position would be perfectly fine human just ends up being corrupted and um, turned into just a, a, a figurehead for money they they become power they don't become a person and that's where the disconnect and the divide comes from and we can't dislike someone who isn't us you know we can't dislike someone who doesn't act like a common human or just human at all because there's going to be a great disconnect and we're going to envy them and we're going to get jealous and we're going to get angry and furious and we're going to blame them because they don't seem human they seem like the powers and we're blaming them for things that we really shouldn't blame them for we're just using the scapegoats because everything falls under their wing really so that's why i think um being honorable in a dishonorable position and how it's kind of achieved and a few examples as i said diana harry jfk theroux and conway that's her name 